Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about my Shimano Corrado DC. I've had this reel for two years now, and today I'm going to be telling you if it's still worth it even two years later. One of the biggest selling points of this reel is that DC feature. This stands for digitally controlled. This means there's a tiny microcomputer inside the fishing reel. When the spool spins fast enough on any DC reel, you'll hear a zing. Over time, I have heard nothing happen to this zing or any of the braking systems on the DC reel. On the side panel of the Corrado DC, there's this small dial with four different settings. These settings control what brake power you have it set to. For braid, I normally set it at two or three depending on the wind. I've only had one problem ever with this dial on my reel, and I couldn't get it open when it was on the open tab. I soon got this fixed by just turning the tab enough times. Taking a look inside the reel, the side panel has the DC computer inside of it. That's what that little white thing is. And after all this time, it still looks brand new inside, which is a good thing to see. Looking at the internals of the body portion of the reel, you can see everything is still shining and looks brand new. Along with everything spinning super smoothly, this is great to see considering those reel's price point. I'm very pleased to say that I am super happy with how the seals worked after two years and being submerged in the lake one time on accident. Although all the important internals are safe on this reel, the exterior is what we really should be worried about because it is exposed to all the elements and rocks. You can see on my reel here, there is a bunch of small scratches, which is to be expected, and that one chip at the top. For this reel being two years old and being primarily used by a bank fisherman, this is extremely impressive. All of my plastic bodied reels look way worse than this even after just a year. Now, there is one con about this reel, is there is a side play in the handle, as shown here. I got majorly concerned about this issue, so I actually sent my reel to Shimano. And I'm not knocking on Shimano when I say this, but they absolutely did nothing to it, and it is exactly the same, if not worse, as when I sent it out. I really don't think this is much of an issue, but it might cause some unwanted wear and tear over time, so I am paying attention and keeping up with my regular maintenance. Thank you guys so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed today's video, or at least got something useful out of it. If you have any questions for me about my reel, or anything else, please comment down below and I will make sure to answer you. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.